Well, everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and talk about the differences between two of the biggest streaming platforms out there right now, which are Netflix and Apple TV+. Now, in my opinion, I think both of these have their own suits, and I think both of them are really good. I don't really think there's a clear winner here. You know, Apple TV+, Plus. you know, they have a lot of shows on there, a lot of original Apple shows that you can't really get elsewhere. And if you own a lot of Apple products, they've made it a lot easier to actually go ahead and kind of, you know, group with Apple One and purchase, you know, Apple TV+, Plus with a lot of other you know, little offerings that Apple also offers in their cloud platforms. Now, Netflix, on the other hand, I think is kind of like the standard when it comes down to a lot of shows that are coming out. And a lot of the shows that have been coming out for the last couple of years have been Netflix exclusives as well. So you can't really get them elsewhere. But with the recent news of Netflix, you know, doing a lot of interesting things, it looks like they're going to be increasing their costs, you know, for, you know, the standard baseline, you know, entry point of you know purchasing netflix but also they may be offering a cheaper plan with ads inside of it it looks like there's going to be some shaking things that are going to be happening soon but like i said both these are great both them have both of these have their own offerings and i don't think there's a clear winner here starting off with the price tag though the apple tv plus you do actually do have a seven day free trial which i think is pretty cool then it is shortly after it's 4.99 a month so you can pretty much just kind of look at it and say it costs pretty much nine four ninety nine a month for the most part right now. Now with the Netflix, there are a few different offerings from them right now. So we do have the standard nine ninety nine. This is the basic model of the monthly price. So this is ad free as of right now from their website. So that is nine ninety nine. You get good video quality from them, and the resolution is really only four eighty p, which is very interesting. Now the standard you know rate plan that they offer a little bit above that is fifteen forty nine a month. That one is better video quality at 1080p. Now their premium offering is $19.99 a month. This is the best video quality. You get 4K plus HDR. So I think that's pretty cool that you can have the ability of going up to there. But Apple TV Plus natively gives you pretty much all the resolutions you can choose from as of that point. So that may be something else you may want to look into. So just from that right there, that is probably one of the bigger things to kind of look at right there. Availability is pretty much the same between both as well. You can easily pick this thing up on the app stores, you know, either one, you can watch them online. There's Apple TV, you know, boxes that you can actually go ahead and purchase as well. And there's a lot of other things that you have the ability of kind of doing between them. That is, there's just so much overlap for the most part that it doesn't really matter if you go ahead and get if you have an iPhone or Android or iPad or Android tablet, you will pretty much have the ability of getting either one of these softwares on your specific phone, which is really, really cool. Now, I will say, like I mentioned before, Netflix seems to kind of be the, you know, standard when it comes down to the shows that are coming out. It seems like Netflix has more of the ability and more of a focus on streaming, whereas on Apple TV Plus, it seems like they're really trying to go ahead and focus around their Apple products and trying to get you to subscribe as much as possible to all their other products as well. That's kind of the gauge that I've been getting from them recently. With Apple One, I think that's great. And I think that's an awesome way to go ahead and not only get Apple TV Plus, but a lot of other things from Apple TV, from Apple, you know, cloud softwares at a very cheap price. You know, I think it's actually pretty competitive. So they make it a lot easier to go ahead and just get started with Apple TV Plus. It also comes pre-built with pretty much all their phones nowadays and softwares and products. So I think that's pretty cool. But on the flip side is the amount of content that's available on Apple TV Plus. In my experience, Netflix has a lot more of the shows that I would personally watch on that specific platform. On top of that, they have a lot more shows that I've been watching even before Netflix that are available on that platform as well. Now, a lot of things come in and out. They, you know, some shows are available on there, then they get taken down and they get removed, like The Office is one of them. But you can pretty much rest assured that if it's not really on Netflix and it's an older show, it may not be on Apple TV Plus either. There are a lot of custom, you know, Apple TV original shows that are available on Apple TV Plus, but you're really not going to find a lot of stuff that's overlapped between the two. There's a lot of, you know, shows that are available on both, like I mentioned, but there's not a lot of crazy overlap that I've kind of found. And in my opinion, Netflix has more shows that are more relevant, at least to me. Now, on top of that, I will say it's more money. You know, you're going to be spending a lot more on Netflix than on Apple TV Plus. 
So that is another thing that you may want to go and consider. But there may be some student discounts out there, you know, as well. But I will say, if you do already have Apple TV+, Plus, I know a lot of people who will probably have Apple TV+, Plus and then get Netflix after. I don't know a lot of people who will have Netflix right now and want to get Apple TV+. Plus. There are some reasons, maybe, you know, I feel like it works really well for a lot of different Apple products out there. Obviously, AirPlay works with Apple TV+, Plus too. SharePlay works with Apple TV+, Plus. so if you want to watch a movie together with people, you know, via FaceTime, well, you can watch that via Apple TV. And because it already comes pre-built within Apple's ecosystem, it works really well with all different products and AirPods and so many other things. So, so I've always found that to be fairly interesting from Apple. Now with Netflix, like I mentioned, they just have so many different platforms and so many different, you know, shows that are not only coming out, you know, in the future, but also have came out in the last year or so that a lot of people really like. Things like Squid Game, Stranger Things, you know, so many different shows like that that are still getting so much hype behind them. Seems like Netflix has really gotten, you know, a hold on culture in a way, and they're really focusing in on how can we go ahead and make as many great shows as possible that many people will like. And, you know, they've been doing this for quite a bit of time. I will be curious to see what Apple is going to be doing to kind of compete with that. Because Apple TV, you know, their main thing is, you know, creating original content. And they've been kind of improving in that area. But I still haven't yet heard of a lot of people, you know, and a lot of shows from Apple TV. Whereas on Netflix, I've seen a lot of people talk about shows from this, you know, platform. I don't even watch that much Netflix. But I've seen a lot of people talk and mention a lot of different things about Netflix as a whole. So to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, what I will tell you is I think both these platforms, I don't consider, you know, them to be, you know, one to be competitors of one another. I think Netflix is probably the better one for a lot of people out there. But like I mentioned, because it's a little bit more expensive, it may make sense to you for just to go ahead and kind of start with Apple TV and see if you kind of like the shows and kind of like the content within there. But Netflix has kind of historically been working the best for me in terms of the shows that they've been offering. But on top of that, the shows that are going to be coming out in the future. I think a lot of people would look at both of these specific you know, platforms, like I mentioned, between both of them as kind of the same thing but because of the amount of capability behind Apple TV Plus from the $4.99 price tag, it's actually pretty interesting. I mean, you're getting 4K capability natively with $4.99. You're getting very good audio quality within them as well. And to be honest, Apple TV, like they spend a lot of money on Apple TV Plus. And I do think in the future, it's going to be improving in terms of the, you know, quantity of, you know, content as well as the, you know, quality of the content as well. I would love for them to go ahead and just make as many shows as possible for us to go ahead and have a huge plethora of a catalog to choose from. But if they only make a couple of shows, here and there and a couple movies here and there i don't really see too many people talking about you know apple tv exclusives with the netflix on the other hand it seems like they have different shows that come out all of the time because they focus in on netflix they focus in on streaming that's pretty much what their company does so like i said i think netflix is probably the one that i would recommend to most people to go and pick up but like i mentioned because it is a little bit more expensive it's actually twice the price than apple tv plus for the base model that doesn't even include 4k capability or anything like that it may make a little bit more sense to go and get apple tv plus but if you have the money i would probably go for netflix when it comes down to it so that kind of covers it up if you have any other thoughts or questions please let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then